Welcome aboard. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, I am not a noob, aka noob. Back at you with some more Starfield adventures. Before we continue, please turn your devices slash players to 4K30. This will not be a 60 FPS. Pardon me. This will not be a 60 FPS video. This will be 30. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Initiating grab drive. And you're off. Because I really don't know or understand why. My crewmate is just hanging out in the helm slash starboard of my ship and it seems like the hyperdrive help. seems to have fixed it. Roger that. But yeah, um, little glitches and bugs like that one where my crewmate was just standing in the starboard port slash windshield of my control panel glitches and s slight bugs like that is funny to me that that was funny damn it I wasn't fast enough they got me caught me slipping something about this game that whenever I fire it up and I play it especially if you checked out my most recent Starfield videos I have a new TV and the game looks better than ever to me I don't know like I said I don't know if it's because they did work on the graphics and certain visuals in the game adding some tweaks with some updates or is it a combination of both You know, it's, it's really unfortunate and a shame how much hate this game gets. Everyone talks about the fact that, you know, the, the engine is dated, it's outdated. You know, they're still running an old engine on here. And, you know, all the hate, oh, the story is whack. There's nothing to do worlds are empty so many loading screens like it's like it's an endless list of negativity with this game oh all the steam players 80 percent of the steam players have left the game so with that being said i got love for some of the pc gaming community i don't feel they're all pompous um What's the word I'm looking for? Well, that was fun. Just arrogant, feeling like they're better than everyone. People, you know, I'm a console player. I'm an Xbox guy. Been that for a very, very long time. And yeah, um, so I mean. As far as all these PC slash Steam players leaving the game, I mean, it doesn't bother me because, you know, I'm still on my first playthrough. You know, I don't even, still don't even have any powers unlocked. This is just so much. Help. Not to try and steal my ship. I'm Ranger Deputy Skywalker, just signed up. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the grand tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I need to get you to a doctor. I'll 
be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. I'll help you, but I'm gonna need a favor in return. Don't need to ask for that, I'd have helped you anyway. Since you're new, here's a lesson for you. Rangers look out for each other. Always. We hear you, loud and clear, Nia. So, back to what I was saying. You know, I just really feel like there's so much this game has to offer me. And I've I've like I haven't even scratched the surface of the things that I feel that that is in the game that the game that the base game itself has to offer. Like I haven't even scratched the surface. Like I just I just don't understand and can't comprehend or put together mentally like the hate people have for this game you know everybody has been excited about the fallout 4 next gen update that just came out i believe today which has just hit for the xbox series s x and playstation 5 you know fallout has a tv you know it's a tv excuse me that's it has a tv obviously you need a tv to play the game but it has a tv show and just I just really feel like, yeah, I mean, there's things I can pick out about this game that I don't like. You know, I can be negative about it. But there's plenty of things I can nitpick about the game and say, well, they got this wrong. Or this, you know, they, they should have this. They, absolutely. There's certain things that I know as far as from a Bethesda game. And after playing Fallout 3, Vegas, 4, 76, I'm like, yeah, this thing's missing. But this is why I'm not, it doesn't, I'm not really like, it doesn't really bother me too much the way it bothers everyone else. Because I look at it like Fallout 3 in March, that wasn't perfect. Vegas, Vegas. Was, was definitely it was solid like I think I had it just about at launch if not at launch like I, I was a major impressed and in love with Vegas Vegas was a top notch Fallout Bethesda franchise game Fallout 4 I'm, I was absolutely in love with it still haven't even ended it all these years the game has been out for years now I still haven't ended it. Why? Because the game to me has so much stuff. It's like it's so much stuff to explore. It can't. The combat also can be challenging. The way I have, the way I'm playing on it in survival mode on hard, it, it, it's challenging. But it's also very fun. And I be trying to. I'm trying to like. I know what I'm trying to do on the game. Like I'm trying to do some only in a Bethesda game type of stuff. And then it's like, you know, you got 76, everybody complained about that, how it launched, how it wasn't good. Now you got people, everybody returning to it, trying it out right now, saying, oh no, the game is way better than what it was when it launched. And we all know that because Bethesda worked on the game. They kept adding stuff. They kept making updates, tweaks, and fixes and patches to the game to get it to the state it's in now which is very playable very enjoyable you have a, a community that's actually active on there still friendly community even though in a multiplayer fallout environment you can actually run into hostile players too because i've run into them years ago when i was on there playing it when i first got it and i had fun like literally fighting players that was higher level than me players that was the same level as me working together with players it was a unique experience and the game didn't have half the things that's in there now didn't even have it and i still had fun with it it's the, that's just bethesda you know they launch a game 
and you know everybody has expectations of what a Bethesda game is supposed to be or supposed to have and Bethesda you know they don't abandon their projects they work on it even I'm quite sure they're aware of what's missing or what they could add to make it better and they do it and they turn around and do it they get the job done so I, I feel no different with Starfield. There's things missing? Yes. Thanks. That should get me home. Happy to be a fellow ranger. Good. There aren't many of us out there. So it makes all our lives easier when we can help each other out. Now let's talk about those outlaw ships. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout... I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Just tell me where they were headed and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Good hunting. So yeah, like I was saying, you know, I'm not, I'm, like I said, I, I can name a few things that the game doesn't have as far as on console, because obviously I'm a console player, that the game doesn't have. But I'm quite sure the game, game hasn't even been out a year yet. It's been out for about six, seven months, eight months max. The game's not even a year old. I guarantee you, people's tunes will change about this game Give it about another two, three years when they keep adding and updating and patching and fixing the game. We'll see if everybody has that same energy. Because I doubt it. I guarantee you those same 80% of PC players, those Steam players that abandon the game, they'll turn back to this game. They'll, they'll be back on there for the visuals, for the mods, which they already got the mods. We don't have them on console yet. They'll be back, just like they've returned to Fallout 4. Everybody's returning to Fallout 4. The game is 10 years old or older. Everybody's returning. Everybody done returned back to, to Fallout 3. People trying to plan that. Everybody done returned back to Fallout 76 and so forth. It's just the Bethesda effect because they don't abandon their projects. And if they, they listen to their fans and they know what the fans expect so if they see hey our fans aren't happy we're gonna go we're, we're gonna keep going on and on until we get their approval and they like the product that it has shipped out should it should the game have been shipped a certain way in the beginning because that's what people are paying for finished products absolutely 100 percent. you should get a finished product shouldn't have to wait but that's just what it is. Just That's just Bethesda. And I know that because I've played their games for a while and have been a fan of them for a, since Fallout 3. When I first didn't even like the game, I said it was whack, said it was trash. And then I sat there and I played it. And then I was like, holy crap, this game, it's amazing. I have not played anything like it from the storyline to the gameplay and the outdated graphics because those graphics was outdated and that was the first thing i said about the game i don't like the graphics it's dated and people are saying this about starfield that's why i went into photo mode as i'm getting ready to close out this video just to show just to showcase you're out of your mind if you're saying this is dated I'm looking at a freaking replica of the star system you're you're on drugs Quit smoking, whatever you're smoking, because it, it's definitely hindering your thinking capabilities. On that note, for an about a time, that's all the time I have for you today. Thank you all for tuning in. Do me a big favor. Simply leave a comment, like the vid, share the vid, hit the subscribe bell. See you on my next one. Till next time, peace and be well. Noob out.